What is a supernova? What is a micronova? What do we know about stars? Do we know anything at all? If you come over to space.com, they'll tell you that a supernova is a blindingly bright starburst that wasn't there just a few hours ago. And that is about the depth of knowledge that we have on supernova. How often do stars explode? Well, if you come to Google, they claim that every 50 years in a galaxy the size of the Milky Way, a star explodes. Every 50 years. In other words, they say every second somewhere in the universe a star explodes. <laughs> well, I don't know if we know much, but we know that supernovas form rings. Here's the 1987A Large Magellanic Cloud. More rings. We've seen these same rings in the Sapphire Project. Thunderbolts.info which is using a special chamber to test plasma, the plasma th sun hypothesis. Very similar concentric rings. Here's another supernova. More rings. Balakmile Rock Art, near Mauchlin, in Ayrshire, Scotland. East Ayrshire has one of the UK's best ancient rock carving sites, just off the River Airway Walk and near Balakmile Viaduct is two vertical sandstone panels with highly concentrated petroglyphs. Our ancestors from deep antiquity carved these enigmatic symbols which still survive in excellent condition. The site is off the A76 road between the villages of Catron and Mocklin. The site is not signposted but is marked on the OS map. The two rock panels were exposed in 1986 by estate workers clearing away vegetation. These rock panels are purported to be over 6,000 years old. The event in question, 12,900. I'll leave you links to the video. Please subscribe to Before Caledonia. and the Balakomili rock art and give them a thumbs up because this is not the only example of this rock art in fact I found it here in the desert southwest of the US <clears throat> and I'll leave you links to more nonsense by the mainstream but this is actual footage of a supernova The brilliant flash of an exploding star shockwave, what astronomers call the shock breakout, captured for the first time in the optical wavelength by NASA's planet hunter, Kepler Space Telescope.
Look at that. If our star novas, we're going to see something very similar. And then the shockwave will come towards us. Now, if you don't know about Ben Davidson over at Suspicious Observer, he has a great sequence of videos he's put out over the last week on Solar Micronova, and I will link you to this one. I implore you to watch it. Because flashes from normal stars are not new. Back in 1988, Bradley Schaefer wrote a paper in the first sentence of his abstract, he writes, I would like to point out to the astronomical community the possibility that normal stars can undergo large amplitude flashes. It's up. Uh, on timescales from one to several thousand seconds. The evidence consists of flashes observed on 24 normal stars, as well as the 141 flashes on field stars observed by Johnson. These stars are normal in the same that they are not late type dwarf and have no particularly exotic characteristics other than the flash. Meaning that our star, the sun, can flash. The flashes have amplitudes ranging up to greater than 7 magnitude, involving energies greater than 10 to the 40 ergs. It's possible that these flashes are evidence of a rare class of previously unknown phenomena called micronova. Heads up! What do we know about stars? We think that half of space isn't there. Dark matter, black holes, antimatter, <laughs> dark energy. It's all missing. I think you're missing the point. There's am ample evidence that stars flash. It's been around forever. Ever. Here's the paper. I implore you to read it. Links will be below. Did a massive solar proton event fry the Earth? Well, back in 2011, people were thinking that that is possible. Evidence for a solar cause for the Pleistocene mass extinction is epic. The black mats, nano diamonds, other cosmic debris, bone yards, bone piles. Most of the northern hemisphere burned in a single day. While catastrophic flooding was redistributing the melee. Many respected geologists, including Robert Schock, believe that plasma solar outbursts caused the end of the last ice age. And I'll leave you links to his work. Was the Adam and Eve story by Chan Thomas classified and sanitized because the powers that be knew something or they were just learning something about our sun? Maybe this information has been known forever. Maybe that's why Gobegli Tepe was buried. Maybe our ancestors watched it and recorded it on the rock. Maybe I'm just crazy. Or maybe you've been lied to. In any event, the facts are in. 
Large groups of the population are picking up what we're putting down. And the fun is just beginning. Be safe.